I hope. I hope that in 25 years, education doesn't look like anything that we see today. Even as amazing and awesome and funky as I would tell you that what's going on at the Past Innovation Lab is, I think that that is just a very first step in reshaping and rethinking uh, the world of K-12 education. One of the, the worst parts about education today, especially public education in the, United, in the United States, is that we're in this age of accountability and standardization in which test prep, um, very, very low level accountability metrics, uh, measurement that's uh, focused on uh, low-level skills seems to be dominating a lot of the discourse in the way that we teach. Um, I would hope that you know, in 25 years, the education community and the people who make decisions have uh, started to listen to and seen the results of uh, the test-based um, education system, and then seen the research that shows that a lot of these metrics actually account for very little of the learning that's happening in the schools. I hope that in 25 years, education is much more personalized than it is today, much more oriented toward trying to meet every individual student's needs, interests, and goals to support that individual in developing fully as, an indivi as a person, and less institutionally focused. But we're at a time when we are seeing greater personalization and greater customization emerge in many areas of life and change many different sectors of society and the economy. And we have the opportunity to bring that same kind of thinking to education. We hope that there will be greater focus on in individual development in education. So academic learning is important, of course, and that needs to continue. But we have, again, at our disposal, deepening understanding of cognitive development and of the importance of social and emotional learning to people's well-being and, and indeed their career success in the future. So we're hoping to that education will increasingly focus on the whole person and will use some of the, the new tools and insights at our disposal to help um, achieve that focus. The world's changing so much because of technology. We don't need to memorize things anymore. So let's stop doing that. Why are we still doing that? Why are we taking you know, written standardized tests um, when we could actually sit down with a student, um, like the students around me, have a conversation and be able to ascertain the depth and breadth of their knowledge in 10 minutes and have a spectacular interaction along the way.